Welcome back to Louisiana Crab Shack for three to see a very different episode of three to see because quite frankly, there really is nothing to see in the sports world these days as the coronavirus continues to force cancellations, postponements and suspensions of these athletic events all throughout the country at all levels. I think a lot of these organizations are in a wait and see pattern. This is a it's, it's a tough time. It's a tough time for people in the sports world, people that like sports. You know, obviously it's it's my job. I'm here every day talking about it. But when I go home, I'm a sports fan. I like to watch my teams. I like to read about my teams. And with those gone, it's it's really kind of a tough time of year. And, and you think about some of the far reaching impacts of these suspensions and cancellations of these sports. And you think about particularly the college athlete. Think about people like Freddie Gillespie on the Baylor basketball team who had, has had a fantastic year this year, has really, you know, made himself into a Baylor legend in one season, the best season in the history of Baylor basketball so far in recent history anyway. And Freddie Gillespie has been a big part of that. And right now it just looks like his senior year is just going to come to an end. You know, people like that. That's what, that's what the game of college basketball is all about. It really is a, a tough time right now. And, you know, talk, listening to the conference commissioners earlier today, you know, this is not a decision that they took lightly. It's one that they, they took a lot of time with and they, you know, made sure they tried every way they could to play this out. So players like the Freddie Gillespie's that we talked about get a chance to, you know, finish their careers the right way. Let's take a listen to, to some of the comments that were said by Commissioner Sankey, who got a little emotional in Big 12 Commissioner Bob Bowlesby a little bit earlier today. If you'll allow me a moment, I'm going to tell you a story about 2008. We had a tornado that hit the Georgia Dome. None of us slept the night. We moved to Georgia Tech. We had a double header for, for one team. You know, Georgia Kentucky played, Georgia won, Georgia won again, and then Georgia won the championship. And there was a student athlete on that team walking down the hallway carrying our championship trophy saying, this is the best day of my life. <clears throat> I have felt the responsibility to give another team that opportunity. But the greater responsibility is the health and the information that's come about. We, uh, we believe this is the right thing. I, I feel terrible for, for uh, the seniors that are involved in this tournament. Uh, this was uh, uh, an opportunity for them to be on the, the last time through the Big 12 tournament. And I, I think just a collective feeling of sadness. I mean, every, everybody gets jazzed up for this tournament. It's a, it's a great sporting event. So I think there's a definite pall over the sports world, and, and I think it's something that we don't really know how long this is going to go. I don't know, you know, if we really have a grasp on that. I know suspensions in play, you know, through pretty much the month of March across the board uh, is going to give people a chance to reevaluate how things are going. And maybe, you know, hopefully as the weather starts to warm up, like we see with flu season, you know, the weather warms up, gets better, that we don't have you know, as many cases and it kind of works its, itself out. But right now there's really no way of knowing where this is going to go. I know certainly from, from my point of view, I'll, I'll still be going out to whatever's open. Louisiana Crab Shack, they're still open. Why don't you come down here and check this out here. Not a lot of sports going on, but we do have golf. Golf is going on for the time being. Going to play the Players' Championship the next three days. Not going to be any fans in the stands or in, in, in the crowd at the uh, TBC Sawgrass, which is one of the best stadium courses on tour, which is terribly ironic. But, you know, a strange time, but a time to come down here, hang out, be with some friends, watch what sports are going on, and uh, really just enjoy your time. It's been a little bit of a strange edition of 3 to C, but we appreciate you checking in.